We're now going to go to New York. Libby Lenkinski is the Vice President for Public Engagement at the New Israel Fund. Libby, great to have you with us. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is saying that the NIF is responsible for ruining the deal with Rwanda. Are you denying that? Absolutely. The Prime Minister's claims against the New Israel Fund are baseless, and it's not the first time that he lashes out at us, at the media in Israel, at the judiciary, when he himself is failing to provide a deal. So this claim that we're somehow colluding or any of that is just the prime minister lashing out and trying to deflect attention from his own failure to actually establish a viable option for these 37,000 people seeking asylum in Israel that have been hanging in limbo with no certainty for their lives for years. And not only that, his failure to provide a deal that is reasonable to the Israeli public, to residents of South Tel Aviv, this issue is no longer an issue that's even uh, uh, a, a campaign that the New Israel Fund is uh, in the front of. Israeli artists, journalists, political leaders, and just average Israelis from all over the country, tens of thousands of them have raised their voice to say no to the deportations. And the prime minister hasn't been able to secure a reasonable deal for the future of these 37,000 people and to satisfy the amazingly huge outcry of Israelis against the deportation. Uh, the New Israel Fund has supported these tens of thousands of Israelis in their campaign to say no to the deportations, and we've supported organizations advocating on behalf of human rights for all, including asylum seekers, for at least 10 years, and we're really proud of that work. This is an incredible, uh, uh, it's an incredible example of what Israelis can do when they come together and when they raise their voice. Right. Uh, it's not just a special interest issue any longer. Certainly. Now, now as, you, as you've pointed to, the CEO of NIF has, say, has said, as, as you've reiterated, uh, that this organisation has supported financially and with advice Israelis who are campaigning against this deportation plan. Would you take issue, for example, with Russia interfering in a sovereign decision of the United States? Do you see that as the same thing? I don't see that as the same thing. The New Israel Fund is a partnership organization between Israelis of all kinds on the ground and people around the world that support democracy, equality, and social justice in Israel. So the tag of foreign entity is something that is a spin. Um, it's not accurate in describing the work that the New Israel Fund does. We're very proud of the support that we give in partnership with Israelis and this campaign that Israelis have led to say no to deportation reporting 37,000 people seeking asylum uh, is, is a good example of that. All right, Libby, we really appreciate that insight. Thank you for being with us here on Perspectives.